Hello guys, and welcome back to another part of Bolts. Um, now, I think I was just um, about to build an enricher last time, but I ran out of redstone, and I have done a bit of mining. Now, I found something down there, which is pretty interesting. Um, but I didn't want to mine it out, because I thought that I didn't want to seem cheaty or anything, if you had just appeared with like a load of diamonds, which I found down here. So I'll just come down and show you these first. Uh... Right, eat something. Right. Okay. Now I was been mining absolutely loads just to try and get a, some resources, so I won't have another um, thing like last time where I just run out of resources because it's just a pain in the ass. Um. So quite a long tunnel. Now I found out if you sprint and jump, it makes you go a lot faster. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Now I'm not sure if it actually does, but it seems to anyway. Um. Eh. Uh, yeah, so I've been mining a hell of a lot recently, and I kind of covered it up just in case someone came down into my mine, and I found this, a, um, eight or, uh, eight, um, vein of diamonds, I believe, so I actually get to mine these now. Okay, so, um, that's going to take me on to a few of the resources I'm going to need for next time, or the next machine that I make. Uh, which I'm not sure what it's going to be, possibly a centrifuge or something like that, which I will show you what it does at the time. Now, also, unfortunately, I have had a few problems with um, stealing recently. Now, some people found my base and stole a couple of my supplies, but it's all right now. It's all been sorted out, but um, I think I might have to move bases. And I was thinking about possibly going to an underwater one. Um, so that might be a possibility. Um, maybe with like a glass bit over the water so you can see all the water. I think that'd be quite nice. And then all my nuclear facility and stuff underneath, which would be quite good. Okay, so oh, I've got such a long mine. Uh, let's just head up here. So anyway, so as I said before, I am going to be building an enricher today. Now, on top of getting a load of redstone and other stuff, I have been... um. Also gone cow hunting, and I've got plenty of steak, a bit of pork, and um, most of all leather. Now, this is for wires, which is going to be incredibly useful. So, what I'll need for the wires is I'm going to need a bit of copper smelting. I'll even put a bit more, actually, in, because uh, I'm going to need quite a lot of this. Um, hmm. Okay, great. Actually, split it up and just use it with that. Uh, there we go. Uh, but also I've been making a lot of steel. So let's just have a look at the um, recipe for the enricher again. The enrichment chamber. Now I basically think this should do the same as a macerator if you're a tech it lover. And um, if you're not, basically it turns it all into dust so you can kind of double it. So we're going to need control circuits, um, plenty of platinum stuff. What else do I need? Four enriched alloy, I have two. Right, so, as I showed you in the last episode, the enriched alloy is used for um, two pieces, of, a few pieces of redstone, and then that, and that gives us two pieces of thingy. Uh, let's just have a look. Right, enriched alloy, so I'm going to need a couple more of them, actually. Um, now, unfortunately, there are a few textures that are just a little bit um, not working. Now, if I made iron nuggets, they don't have a texture for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but I will try and fix this as soon as possible. Uh, platinum. Right. Uh, oh, I need to smell a bit of platinum. Now, I've mined a lot more of that as well. So, I've got plenty of resources at the moment, so I'm not going to run out anytime soon. Okay, so while I'm at it, I will just build some wires. Now, usually on Tech It and stuff, you would use um, rubber, but... They don't have rubber in this, so you use leather instead, which kind of makes sense. Um, and I will get insulated copper wire. Um, right, is that smelted? Hmm, need one more piece. Uh, no, two more pieces. One's in there. Come on, hurry up. Uh, okay, so I'll build one of these. Okay. And while the platinum smelts, uh, smelts, we'll just take nine of this to make the um, steel block. Now, hopefully, um, we should have a new base up soon. Now, I was planning on doing it uh, 
in the sea that's next to us. If you have a look at the mini map, that's just uh, yeah, somewhere in the sea that's next to it. Because I think I've spawned somewhere over there, so I might be able to incorporate that, which would be quite interesting. Right, so I've got the steel block. I'm just waiting on this. Uh, one more. There we go. Okay, so basically you will need one more of these, and this should make the um, enrichment chamber. I keep forgetting the name. God, it's so cold here today. I feel freezing. Just snow everywhere. Um, kind of off topic, but yeah. Okay, steel block, enrichment chamber. Now... Now, I could just use a battery like I'm using the other one to charge it, but now that I've got the wires, I should, hopefully, be able to take this out. Now, I'm not sure which way is the actual input, output of the um, heat generator itself. Uh, I think it might not actually connect because there are a few bugs. No, I don't think it is, actually. There are a few bugs at the moment that, like, make it look like it is connecting. Let me just take that out and see if it still works. Let me hook it up to that actually. Okay. Um, oh, right. Okay, let's see if they're getting energy at all. Now, why isn't that working? Hmm. Okay guys, um, I just checked what I was doing wrong and basically um, it has to come out. The output of this is the front hole of it and um, it has to go into this um, through the red hole and um yeah it just doesn't join up i'm not sh exactly sure why at the moment but hopefully um it might just be a glitch or something but hopefully that should work now um is that charging now you can see yeah it's charging so now the electricity is going into all of these so now what i can start doing is getting all my platinum uh i'll put the 50 in first and then i can just put this in here and basically what that should do is make a very loud noise I might just turn my sound on actually. Sorry about slightly killing your audio, guys. Um, and basically, what that should do is, um, yeah, just put, make it to plasma dust. And then what I can do with that is go and smelt it, and it will make it into um, plasma ingots. So basically, it kind of doubles it. So you get um, for every one um, plasma ore, you get two dust. So that's quite helpful. So let's put all this in. So uh, in one time I might be able to automate this, um, which would be quite good. So I can just have some the stuff all going into there and then being pumped out when it's finished, which will be quite nice. Um, but at the moment, uh, that is not an option. Um, but I think what I'm going to need to do next is um, start working on getting maybe a more stable power supply. So I was thinking something like a fission or fusion reactor uh, now basically what this does is for the fission reactor what you need to do is you need to put it um, surrounded in water and then what you can have is a thing called a control rod and then that will determine how much energy it goes and how fast it goes so if it's about to blow up you can kind of save it using this control rod which is quite interesting but unfortunately I will need a sticky piston for that so I might have to go looking for slimes now I think this is updated to 1.4.7 so I think they might appear in swamp biomes which would be quite nice now I might start working on my new base before I get a fission reactor up because I think setting up a fission reactor will be a pain in the ass to move. Uh, so I might work on that next. But there is a thing called a centrifuge. Now, I think basically what that does is it turns uranium, I like the uranium ore, into a um, into a um, actual uranium cell, which you can use for the um, uh, sorry, you can use for the actual um, uh, yeah, reactor which would be quite good. Sorry, got my words jumbled up there. Right, okay, so I think what I will work on doing is building a centrifuge first. Okay, so what do I need for that? Elite circuit, ooh, lapis gold. I think I have enough lapis and enough gold to do that. Ooh, a diamond, that is quite expensive. Hmm, now I have got seven, so I can afford it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the 
centrifuge. Wait, how many? I need four diamonds for each. Mm. I'll still do it, yeah. Um, right, so... Will I need... Right, so how many will I need? I'll need... No, I need two diamonds, don't I? That's fine. Um, uh, so let's just... Sorry, I keep forgetting. Uh, okay, redstone, a... Oh, crap. It keeps exiting. Um, a basic circuit. And... I can use steel for that instead of bronze. Okay, right. So, basically, uh, you see those wires that we saw on there? Basically, you can turn them into copper wires by just placing them in the crafting table, and you will automatically get it, which is quite good. Now, I need a steel plate. Uh, so, I think that's four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. Right. So, I need a bit of redstone there. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. I need two of these okay right so i'm gonna need a hell of a lot more steel and stuff now what i might do is pre-building these before um the episode itself because i think that might make stuff a bit easier um like having a chest of circuits and stuff because then i won't have to keep rebuilding them because this stuff does get rather repetitive if i keep doing it so now uh, i need a lapis block don't i got nine of that um there we go and some gold. Gold! Right, so I'll just put that in for smelting. Oh, great. Okay, right guys, um, I've just smelted all that gold. So that's going to be um, helpful. So now all I need to do is just quickly craft this other... Oh wait, no, I already have enough of them. Oh god, nearly did that by accident. Wait, no, I... Wait, do I need another one? One sec. Right, so I need two for that one and two for the other one. So I need to build a few more of these. Um, right, that'll do. And put one copper in for smelting at the moment. <coughs> um, now hopefully now I've got the um, centrifuge and the enrichment... Well, now that I've got the enrichment chamber up, I should be able to like have all my ores already smelted so you won't have to just put up with that. I apologise guys for that. Um, now... It is day now, so I could go out and make the base, but I think I'm just going to finish off this centrifuge first, and then I will go and make the base. Okay. Uh, need some more wires. Four of them. Right, bit of redstone. Uh, five, I don't need five, but I will. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn it, I need more steel, don't I? Please don't tell me I'm out of steel. Oh no, you got to be joking. Oh, oh great. Uh, right, I might have to craft some more steel, so bear with me guys. Um, uh, now this is a problem with, I'm always going to need lots and lots of resources to get started. Um, now, as I said, hopefully in future I should just be able to have them when I need them, but... Unfortunately, that's not a possibility at the moment, but let's just make lots of steel. Um, so I'll just put this in here for now to start making steel. Now, is that... Oh, it's done quite a lot already. Now, I've already emptied that once, and it's already got 25 in. So that's doing quite well. Now, what I'll do is I'll put some of my iron in, because at the moment, I think the only ores you can smelt are... Uh, not smelt, enrich, I guess. Um... It's iron, um, gold, and platinum, I believe. Now, you might be able to do it with a couple of silver. I haven't actually tested that yet, but I might test that in the future. But basically, uh, if you do it with tin and copper... Now, you do need uh, tin and copper to make um, uh, bronze. Yes, bronze, sorry. Um, yeah, so you need that later on. But how's that doing? Okay. Yeah, so you need um, copper and tin dust later on, but... It's not really much of a, um, muchly needed at the moment. Um, right, so I've just got to wait for steel. Oh, I only do need four, but I will just keep the other ones, um, making. Oh, come on, hurry up. Um, now for this, I'm going to need some motors as well. So I might as well just start making the extra wires for them. Um... Let's get a bit more of this smelted. 
Oh, it's no place is free. Of course there isn't. Come on, Tin. Hurry up. Not steel. Um, no, I'm not sure why the textures are a bit messed up, but hopefully they will um fix themselves in due course. But um, yeah. So it's just facts. Is uh, I don't know why it doesn't seem to like the dust. Um, now in their other mods and stuff, when they've textured it, um, they do show dust and stuff, but I'm not sure why they don't on this. But it doesn't really matter at the moment. Uh, elite, so for an advanced circuit, I'll need two of them. Some redstone. God, I'm even though I mine like two stacks of it, I'm still going through loads of it. Um, three diamonds. And what goes in there? Um, oh right, yeah, that's sick, of course. Um, there we go. Right, so that is two advanced circuits. Um, now next. I will need to merge it with the um, lapis and the gold. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we have the elite circuit. Um, okay, then we're going to need still more steel. Okay, guys, um, I've just smelted a bunch of tin. So um, I should have enough now. Fingers crossed. Um, now I'm just going to craft these motors quickly. Um, and then I think like this hmm what am i doing wrong steel oh steel and iron oh right okay that's better that's easier on the steel um right two iron uh, and some steel right. hmm let's just double check that right right let's put that on there hmm that's not helpful at all. They're exactly the same colour. Right, so two iron, three steel. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. It's really confusing. I swear it's two iron. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, basically what it was was it was only one piece of iron in the middle. So that's what was wrong with it. Um, Now, with it all moving and changing, it's quite hard to tell. But thank you, Wiki. Um, okay, now we have two motors. Now, the next thing we're going to need is two steel plates. Um, right. And then we will need some bronze. Now, I have pre-enriched um, some tin already. So that should be good. But I will just quickly put this in. Now, basically, how we make um, bronze dust is... Now, I don't think it's going to tell you on the thing how what machine you used to make it, but it'll just basically go through. You can make it using that or that. But um, basically, what you need is you need to put some tin dust in there, and it'll basically fill up the side. But as it's already filled with a bit of um, coal, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly destroy it, because to get rid of it all, I'd have to make tons and tons of steel, which would be kind of a bit of a waste of time. But So now that's just empty. And what I can do is I can put some of this tin dust in, this invisible dust. Um, and as you can see, the bar is filling up the side. Now, I've just started smelting some copper. So what I'll do is I'll shove that in. Now, hopefully, it will start making some bronze. Now, what it should do is it should make bronze dust with any luck. Please. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, wait. Actually making the bronze increment itself didn't know that um well that's even more helpful uh so now i will get four of those and that will make it straight into the um uh centrifuge why do i keep forgetting the name i'm really not on the ball today um right come on hurry up god the, the noise on the machines does get a bit annoying after a while I mean, it's kind of like cool at first but then it just gets a bit annoying um right so that is everything ready after that long long wait right so let's just get this up make sure i do it right this time okay uh that there that there and steel plate there okay and now we have a centrifuge now i think how we attach this is right let me just place it so i can see which way the inputs oh god no no 
Did, did anything get destroyed? No, everything's fine. Good, good, good. Uh, I must have dug into my farm upstairs. Hopefully nothing got destroyed. Nothing too valuable anyway. Um, right, now, hopefully what this should do is it should um, help me start making uranium. So let's just quickly put that in. Okay, now, what uh, this will do is so you can put the uranium in there and then it will change it straight to there. Now, it might actually just need a battery instead of using a thing, but what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try setting up to here and hope it works, but I doubt it will. Um, let's have a go. No, there's no electricity bar inside. So what we're going to need to do is we're just going to use a battery, which I think we have one either in there. No, I have one in my inventory. Good, good. Um, now that is facing the wrong way, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that should be filling up now. I'm not sure how much energy it needs exactly, but I know it needs quite a lot. So that's just completely drained the battery. Now, I'm hoping that's actually storing the electricity instead of um, just using it. But let's go get some uranium. Uh, there, 55. So that is a lot of uranium. Um, right, so let's just put you in there. Now, hopefully it didn't just strain that battery for nothing. But it looked like it might have actually. So let's just type in uranium and see if I'm definitely doing it right. Um, uranium. Of course it won't let me check the recipe. Right. Uh, I think this is how you do it anyway. Um, but basically, okay, the battery is pretty much charged. So let's just stick that in. Okay, now, as you can see, it is actually just moving up but it seems to be moving up ever so slightly I can feel that this is going to be a very very tedious um, task so I might just set this um I might just do this all off camera because I feel like this is going to take a very 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 long time and a lot of batteries <laughs> okay okay guys um I found out what was wasn't working about the centrifuge now basically what it needs to have is because the batteries um, don't last very long basically what it needs to have is it needs to be uh, powered by a battery box um, so basically I'm gonna need to build one of them now if we have a look I'm gonna need some steel and some more wires and some copper so I'm gonna need some tin actually uh, I think I've put some smelting hopefully have I no, of course I haven't. Um, <laughs> lol. Um, right, so let's just shove that in now. Uh, tin, tin, tin. There we go. Okay, so basically I need to craft some more wires. Uh, I have leather there. I just had to pop out and get some, kill some more cows for some leather because I'm just running really low at the moment. Because wires take up so much leather. At the moment, I'm just going to take that out for the moment and put some of that in. Okay, right. So basically, hopefully, um, while I was off on my couch, I was thinking about moving and going under the water and stuff. And I was thinking what I would do is I'd try and like make an automated arms factory, making all the different types of weapons. Maybe not all of them because there are literally hundreds, but um, a lot of the arms and stuff. And I think that'd be rather cool just like in an assembly line kind of thing, constantly making them. So I think that would work quite well. So let's just build a few more of these wires. Um, right. Uh, I only need four, I think. So I'm going to keep them as those because I can't change them back. So And then the copper and the tin. Uh, right. So I'm going to need quite a lot for this. That's the only problem. So I need... Uh, coal as well. Do I have any spare coal? I have quite a lot of spare coal actually. Now I'm just going to shove quite a lot of my crap into that chest because it's starting to kind of clutter up my inventory a bit. Right, okay, so let's just put all that in there. Okay, we have one battery. I might use the battery I already have just to um, speed everything up a little bit. Okay, another five. So that only leaves one more battery that I need, which is good. Now, the, um, for next episode, I will um, smelt all my stuff and make sure it's all ready to be used because it's a bit annoying having to wait um, for everything to be um, 
Smelted. Come on, I need three more. What takes, like, 30 seconds? I don't know. Watching wheat grow. That would be more fun. Oh, just grew. Anyone else? Can I sprout up? No, oh, okay, right. Uh, uh, okay, one more piece. Come on. You know you can do it. Ten, go, go, go. Yay! Right, okay. So that is four batteries. Okay, good, good. Okay, so then what do I put in the middle? I put my steel plate, so build one of them. Okay, so I think that's all we need now. That's good. So hopefully this should work. I mean, it is still an incredibly slow process, I've been told. Um, checked on the wiki and it's going to take quite a while to make the uranium. So it's kind of kind of be like, while well, I'm off the server, while well, I'm just doing other stuff, this will be making the background. Now, basically what I need to do is I need to get the input. Uh, the input is the, um, the output is the red and the input is the black. Now there's a black square on the other bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wrench. Now, I believe they're quite expensive for what they are. Diamonds and steel, really. Okay. Do I have any more steel? I have plenty of steel dust. Do I have any more steel? I'll just check around. Okay. So it costs a diamond for um, a wrench. Now, is that worth it, I wonder? Uh, platinum, iron, iron. No steel. Great. Can have to wait for that smell as well. Oh god. Um, right. So basically, what I think I'm going to have to do is because this um, um, centrifuge uses so much um, electricity, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to set up more of these heat generators and have a big heat generator farm. But I'm not sure I want to do that until I've moved bases. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky. Um, how many do I need for that? Three. Yay. Okay. That didn't take too long. Um, Okay, wrench. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. Perfect. So that's on the input. Now what I'll need to do is connect around here into the output. Now, is that filling up if I destroy that? Hmm, it's not. Now why is that not filling up? Have I got it the wrong way around? Yes, I had it the wrong way around. Oops. Right. So, yeah, black's output, red's input. Okay, now, basically that's going to be using all the electricity out of that. But hopefully it should use it, a, take a little less time. It doesn't look like it's going to do that much difference. But as you can see, the electricity is decreasing a lot. And that is just going to be... A little bit annoying, so I'm going to have to set up a bigger electricity thing or have more electricity um, things. So once I do get my nuclear facility up, that will be pretty cool. Okay, now, uh, thanks for watching, guys.